from Russia with Tears, the story of Robert Woodland. In a twist that reads like a Netflix drama, Robert Woodland, a 32-year-old U.S. citizen adopted from Russia as a toddler, finds himself at the heart of an international scandal. His journey back to his birthplace to reconnect with his roots has taken a dark turn, landing him in a Russian prison for over a decade. A bit of background. Robert Woodland was born in the Perm region of Russia in 1991. At the age of two, he was adopted by an American couple and moved to the United States. Growing up, Woodland often wondered about his birth family. As an adult, he decided to follow his curiosity and return to Russia to search for his birth mother. His search culminated in a dramatic reunion on a Russian TV show, turning his story into a media sensation. The Return and the Stay After reuniting with his birth mother, Woodland expressed a strong connection to his birthplace. He decided to stay in Russia, settling in Dolgoprudny, a small town near Moscow, where he started teaching English. His life seemed like a fairy tale, until it wasn't. The Arrest on January 5th, the fairy tale ended abruptly when Woodland was detained on drug charges. The Moscow court accused him of attempting to traffic a large quantity of drugs as part of an organized group. Despite his lawyer, Stanislav Kshavitsky, arguing that there was no evidence of drug sales linked to Woodland, the court found him guilty. On Thursday, he was sentenced to 12 and a half years in prison. Images from the hearing show Woodland in a glass courtroom box, head shaved, and smiling briefly before the verdict was announced. It's a stark contrast to the hopeful image of the man who once sought to reconnect with his roots. Political Underpinnings Woodland's case is not just a personal tragedy, it's also entangled in the tense political climate between the U.S. and Russia. Washington has accused Moscow of using American citizens as political bargaining chips especially amid the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Woodland's sentencing comes on the heels of the trial of Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich, another U.S. citizen accused of spying against the Kremlin. What's next? As of now, Woodland's future remains uncertain. His lawyer has not provided any further statements following the court's verdict. The international community watches closely as his case adds another layer to the already complex U.S.-Russia relations. In the end, Robert Woodland's story is a reminder of how quickly fortunes can change and how personal journeys can become entangled with broader political struggles. From the hope of family reunions to the harsh reality of a prison sentence, his journey is a poignant narrative of identity, belonging, and the unpredictable twists of life. Rep your city, rep your state, rep your town. If you're watching this video, leave in the comment section where you're from. Rep your city, Chicago, St. Louis, LA, Miami. Rep your city. Who run? Like button right now, I dare it. Hit the subscribe button right now, I dare it. Hit the share button right now, I dare you. I am the artist TV. I am the artist, and you can be the artist too. Join my channel, hit that subscribe button, and we're gonna take the world by storm together and we're gonna figure this shit out.